This is Cameron Chai here from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Mark Bumilla from Hariba and he's going to speak to us now about their DT1200 acoustic spectrometer. What we have in front of us here is a particle characterization tool specialized in some ways but very broad based in others in terms of the applications you can use it for. When we talk about acoustics, one of the main advantages of acoustics over light scattering is the fact that the samples here are measured without dilution. This system is made to measure concentrated suspensions without any sample preparation. So let's say we're making uh, titanium dioxide or alumina down in the nanomaterial range. Let's say we're going to measure alumina that's down at 100 nanometers. All that's involved here is we're just going to take the sample and pour it into the chamber. It sits in this chamber and what we're going to do now is we have an acoustic source on the right and a de detector on the left. And we're going to measure acoustic attenuation, which is the loss of energy, as a function of distance between the transmitter and receiver, and also as a function of frequency. We take that information and from there we can calculate the particle size distribution. The only thing we need to know here is what's the density of the material. We also need to know what's the volume concentration. We input that information into the system, it goes out and performs the measurement, and we will develop the particle size distribution of the concentrated sample without any dilution. Now, in addition to particle size distribution, we get additional information from this technique, including some rheological characteristics about the microrheology. In addition, we can also get information about the charge on the surface. And if we're working with nanoparticles, we'd be interested not only in particle size, but the charge on the surface, because that will help us predict are they likely to agglomerate or stay in their individual particle state. And in order to measure that charge on the surface, we're going to measure the zeta potential, the charge on the surface of the particles. This is a sensor designed to measure the zeta potential samples, again without dilution, which is a critical improvement when measuring zeta potential. Because if we were to dilute the sample, we could change the charge on the surface through the dilution process. All we need again here is to have the sample come in contact with the probe, and it could be here as a separate measurement or mounted in the same chamber. So we measure particle size and zeta potential at the same time. But as long as we're in contact with the sample, we can perform a zeta potential measurement. This is set up to do a particle size distribution. So this is going to do particle size followed by zeta potential. And what you see here also is we could perform a titration looking at the change in zeta potential and particle size as a function of a change in pH or surface concentration. So what you see here is a very complete tool, nanoparticle characterization, particle size, zeta potential, as a function of pH, as a function of surface concentration, and this can help formulators understand how to best create that product to create this nanoparticle suspension in such a way that it will be staying in suspension, not agglomerating, and will add high value to the people using the material. All right, Mark, thanks very much for telling us about your nanoparticle characterization system. Thank you.